this is 2024. You can't possibly tell me you don't know how to perform web scraping. No, you can't. Because apparently you copying data content from a website onto a spreadsheet or a Google Doc is actually web scraping. Now, the internet is a vast source of information and data and everybody out there knows this. Big tech companies know that the internet is where you can get the best source of data from. And they try be possible means like, you know, make sure that the data is safe and secure. Imagine how you feel if your data is leaked, right? So data is a new hoy, everybody knows this. And extracting data gives you insights to like perform whatever reasons you want to do with it, be it ad campaign, be it lead generation, whatever, whatever you want to do with the data. So, but like I said earlier, you copying and pasting is very tedious. It's hard, like you do it for a long time. So that's why you need to automate this process. And now, as I've mentioned, automation, for people like, oh, automation, oh, it's crazy. Actually, it's not that crazy because in this video, I'll be showing you how to scrape a website within minutes without breaking a sweat, actually. And every tool we'll be using here, Yahoo Free. And because we'll be using ChatGPT, we'll be using Claude, Yahoo Free, you can just sign up and you can be access to it, right? So make sure you stick to the end of this video and I promise you, you will love it. <laughs> For this video, we'll be scraping the Google Careers page. I'm on the Google Careers page right now. And as you can see, there's so many jobs to scrape from. So many, so many. And this is one of the jobs. Digital Business Marketing Apprenticeship, March 2025, start English. So this is the job title. This is the company. These are the locations. This is the level in 10 apprentices, and these are the minimum qualifications. So, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's do data sciences. Okay. Um, all right. So, as you can see, data scientists, two products Google, Mountain View Location, and Heli. So, this is the experience level. Then, the next tool we'll be working with is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is free. Sign up with your email address and you have access to it. Then Claude, Claude AI is also free, just like ChatGPT. But the reason why I'll be using Claude in this tutorial is because Claude has a 200k context window. So when we want to like pass our HTML, it is easier for you to like grab everything at once. So that's why I'm using Claude too. Then the next thing is request. So we're using the request library, right? So the request library is a simple yet elegant HTTP library. It basically helps you send um, HTTP requests to an API or an endpoint. You can send a get request, a post request, a put, um, a delete, whatever request you want to send. So that's what this request library is for in Python. In order to install it, just go to your terminal and do pip install request. Then the last tool we're working with is the Beautiful Soup. So the Beautiful Soup library is a Python library that helps you to pull data out of HTML and XML files. Basically, this is the library we'll be using to pass the content from the HTML page into our um, maybe CSV file or um, JSON file, whatever. So this is the library we're going to be using. And to install this, just do pip install beautiful soup. So this is the documentation. You can have access to it and like install it. So um let's move ahead. So now coming back to this page, this is the page you want to scrape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to head over to chat GPT. Now I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to say can you make a simple request and ds4 script to return all of the html from this page Pip 
Okay. Uh, let's say web dot html right so this is the prompt i'm giving to chat gpt so chat gpt is going to like analyze the website and it's going to like print out um a code for us to use so we're currently analyzing it's currently analyzing it so now we're going to up this once it is done so if i click on this now as you can see it was able to like generate a code for us and i'm going to copy this I'm going to head over to this folder I created. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it web.py. And here, then I'm going to paste it. Now, from the code you can see, as you can see, we imported beautiful soup and we imported request. Now, this is the URL that we copied. So we pass the URL into the URL variable and using the request, um, dot get request, using the get request, we're able to like get the URL and by parsing this URL as a response, we're getting the content and we're using the HTML parser where I pass this document. Then this is going to like save it as a web.html file in our directory. So I'm going to save this, then I'm going to run it. The same when I'm running. So the code is running. Okay, it's taking a while. All right, it is done. So, and as you can see, we were able to uh, generate a web.html. This is what it looks like. So let me control k let me highlight all of this i'm going to like format this document so it like look a little bit nice because everything looks jumbled up right now and it's hard to like read and keep up with so it's formatting it right now so this is taking a while it's taking like a very long while yeah so it is done it is done formatting it so what i can do now is open this with a live server so we can have a view of the page the generated page so it is done loading up and as you can see it is running on our localhost and going through it you see that it is a direct replica of this can you see all right cool so what i'm going to do is head over to the web.py file that was generated using chat gpt i'm going to copy it once we copy it, then we go to cloth. We're going to put it inside cloth. So if you can still remember, I said the reason why we are using cloth AI is because it has a 200k context window. So it will be very, very easy using cloth to like paste in all the HTML elements that we are going to like copy later in this video. So that's why we are using cloth. So I'm going to give it um, a prompt. I'm going to say, can you, You edit this code to also print out a make a typo here. Also print out a JSON file extracting the job title, uh -huh, location, company name. level and job URL let's give it a condition now so if it doesn't exist leave it blank all right so the final now thing to pass into this prompt is the HTML element so normally what we're meant to do is to come here then inspect so inspecting it, we have access to all the HTML elements. But we already have access to the code, so I'm just going to come over to the web.html. So let me do this. Let me just for easy access. I'm going to copy this, then search for this. So as you can see, yeah, I'm just going to copy a little out of 
the element um let me just take to the first sounds good so i'm going to head back to claude then i'm going to paste it inside cross so i'm going to run this so claude is going to start generating a new python script for us it's going to like you know take a while but it's going to like generate it so i started generating it right now As you can see, it is done. So all I have is copy this, come back to our web.py. I'm going to update it. So let's go over it. We're able to import the retrieval soap request and JSON. We pass in the URL to a URL variable and we get URL using the request. So using um, retrieval soap, we get the contents from the URL, then we pass it using HTML. So writing from um the web.html file here we were able to like get the job title the location and the company and as you can see the here i was able to like detect the class names of each element so this is the class name for the title location um the skill level and everything so at the end of it so we are saying it should generate a JSON, a job list or json file containing all the extracted documents so what I'm going to do here is let me close this. I'm going to run script. So it's going to run and as you can see, we get this. So it has the script has like worked. Congratulations. Yay. So we have the title, you know, we have the location, we have the company, and we have the skill level. If you go down here. See, the title, the mountain view, um, location, the Google, the company, advanced at the skill level, then the job URL. And as you can see, everything was scraped was successfully. So if you check your terminal, you see that job listing has been saved to joblisting.json. So for example, if you are a data analyst in the company and you are to like um, get all these scripts, information what is needed in a csv file you can easily come back to cloud and you say let's give you a prompt that save as a csv file so once you send this it's going to start you know generating the script all over again for us so it's done it's done generating so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this, then head back to web .py, paste it, save it. So it is best that you always check the code. You know, um, AI can tend to like make mistakes, hallucinations, blah, and all. So make sure you go through the code and check if everything is correct. As you can see, what was updated here is just this, jobdesign.csv, which is a new file. And instead of importing JSON, we imported CSV. So I'm going to save this, then I'm going to run this again so as you can see we have our csv file here so um let me open this you have the csv so if i open this using the excel spreadsheet so as you can see it is here the title the location title the location company and everything is here everything is here so that is how to scrape a website using ai in this case chat gpt and cloud was that hard no it's not it's not hard trust me you can continue to prompt the ai to keep you know refactoring and keep generating the code for you and keep saving it in different data formats that you want in the video, I was able to um, ask it to like, save it as a JSON format and as a CSV format, which is easily open using your Excel spreadsheet, right? So you can continue doing this, and if you want to you know the better at it, you can take a prompt engineering course. You know, you know how to, you know how to like prompt your hair better, right? So I did all this, you know, just messing around with it, and I was able to like you know scrape all this data. So it is easy. So um, this video is on how to use AI 
like perform web scraping. In my next video, we'll be writing the code ourselves. We'll be writing the code ourselves and we'll be scraping data from a live website. So stick around and watch out for my next video on how to you know, perform web scraping, writing code using Python. So if you love this video, please like, you know, share and subscribe. Most especially, I will appreciate comments because, you know, I love reading all those comments. It's, it makes me, you know, better and it gives me this motivation to like create more videos. Because I actually got um, a request to actually like make a web scraping video. And that is why I'm doing this. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.